All right, hello. Um, this is my. Uh, I was finally. I was. I've had the uh, room to offer a while, but I've only ever played the campaign on it. I actually started playing it first when I was like seven. It's sort of been enough about my life story, though. I could never get the online to work. Um, I finally got it to work with my CD key. So I don't know. I, I decided that after doing some battles I thought oh, I might as well record them and put them on YouTube. But um, yeah basically this is pretty much all the battles I've, I've done yesterday. I did do a few um, just sort of practice ones with a guy and he, he gave me some tips, showed me the ropes, shit like that. But um, after that I think I, I had very few games and it was just I was really crap. but. After I sort of got the hang of it, I started playing today and out of the five games that I've played I've won four of them, which isn't bad. And the one I lost was because I like went to Germany and I just wasted, I just, I just, my, my loadout was crap. As you'll see if I do a commentary on that one, which I should because it's, it's quite funny how badly I actually did. But um, yeah, so this is... Julii versus um, Macedonia, I think. I'll just speed it up to. This will be cut out the video, most definitely. Alright, uh, here we go. Now, this is, this is like my first sort of proper game where I did. Okay, uh, I've got four, five Praetorian Cav. Um, I can't remember. I think I, I think I gave them upgrades. I think it's silver um, attack upgrades, and then I've got three urban cohorts, legionary, two legionary cohorts, and Praetorian cohorts on my flanks. Um, this is this is very much what I use a lot when I play Julia, and I do use them quite a bit in my first matches because I'm just sort of getting used to it. But um. Usually what I do is I get the, I get I give them all good upgrades and stuff, and it, it, it works out really well. But there's always problems with like here. He had a massive archer advantage over me. Did I win this? I'm sure I lost this one actually. I'm pretty sure this is a loss. I've got it wrote down as a win, but that's probably just a mistake. So I remember him tearing me apart with his, his creating archers. So I mean, yeah, I actually I moved my archers up and they were out of range. <laughs> I didn't notice. So you've basically got them them standing there doing fuck all. Look at this, just getting massacred. I, I put them in tested though. I always keep I keep my generals the back, so I sort of reserve and I, I keep my cavalry there. I just speed through this. As it getting started, um. One thing I haven't seen in any Total War game as far as I know is instead of just this in a replay is to have like a, a bar somewhere like where you could skip to a certain point and that'd be very useful. But oh well. And uh, yeah, I have to pull back my calf here. because uh, he has a cavalry advantage and a archer advantage. I have more infantry than him, but not by much. He pretty much he pretty much has me. Uh, I'm not sure if he has me outnumbered, but he has certainly a better loadout, I think. Um, and he's got his Cretan archers just pr fucking pounding my troops, just annoying the hell out of me. I keep these guys in test though, whilst I move them up, and I'm basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make his archers useless by getting in close with his phalanx, and then if my cavalry can just hold off his cavalry long enough for his phalanx to be weak enough that I can use my infantry and the rest of his cav then my cav are better than his so even and he makes a big mistake here he's got like three of his cavalry just all surrounded by my cavalry of course he's gonna send in the, the reinforcements it's pretty much this mess of horses but because I outnumber him, his his units start to rout. 
but then he's got three more here, which he was smart not to throw in because then they might have just got clobbered. But I think he, he should have just regrouped in the first place. God, look at how many dead there is. We can see the battle starting as I get fucking shit kicked by their pikes. Holy fuck. But as I said, they have the infantry advantage, so. My, um. Why have I forgotten the name of them? Pelly, I think it is. That's why I love the urban cohorts and the. just the cohorts in general. Most of the Roman troops, the spears, the Pelly, are, are brilliant for just weakening an army up. Yeah, I, I caused. Yeah, I think I might have won this one actually. I caused a, a good route in his infantry, but his cavalry just overwhelmed me. So, um. Quite often, it, yeah, these things happen where I get hit from behind a lot with the cavalry. Not in a sexual way, that would hurt massively. But yeah, look, he's still got a lot of troops there, but because I've sort of flanked them, they're just sort of breaking off, and that gives me a chance to get behind them and move my troops around to try and sort of support this mess of bodies. And his archers are rendered not completely useless, but for the majority, they're pretty much just all they can do is sit there. Um, it might have even been better to send them in, and I think he's, he's obviously forgotten about the yeah, other. What he's just let them stand there whilst I have it on with these guys. Maybe he's overconfident. I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, his army's starting to break apart in route. Um, the gods have filled the heart of the enemy general with fear. Yeah, he see, he's, he's, he's resorted like to having to coward. throw his, his missile troops in, and uh, I've noticed that quite, quite a few of the games I've played, it's, it's ended on a, just sort of time to press the attack. their missile troops fighting me, and yeah, you can see now that it's, it's pretty much over for him, because no matter how many times he tries these sort of hammer and anvil attacks, his cavalry is just overwhelmed and has no other choice but to run. He tried to weak me with Cretan archers, but pretty futile at this point. He's just fighting to the last man, basically. You can see, I think, has he only got the one unit left? He's got two of them. I always find that as you get, you start off a battle, or me anyway, I start off a battle really organised, and then. This is a heroic victory! Aye, he, he, he admits Roman defeat. Arms. Um, I start off with a whole lot of troops and then sort of organised and then by the end it's just this clutter. So this was this was quite a good victory on my part. I was outnumbered um, and a few of the other ones I have more troops. So that's that's quite good in my opinion. I had 1,243, he had 1,607. Um, he must have had like what 400 archers. 1,094, 812. Good game. Good game, Tom. That's my first commentary over.